Shooter! Uh, KIA! Dry! He's gone! When you look at this clip, would you say my death was due to lag or, or lag compensation? That's sort of an unfair question though. That's kind of like me making you watch a video of someone drowning and then asking you if his death was due to water or, or flotation devices. I mean, there was water involved, it's all around him, but was it the reason for his death? That's sort of how I feel about um, people who look at their kill cams and blame lag, or, or more specifically lag compensation. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the mechanics behind lag, uh, how it affects the shield. Yes, this channel is about riot shields, you know. Um, so uh, the mechanics behind lag, how it affects the shield, and finally, uh, what lag compensation is. The actual definition of it, and, and, and if it's even something that needs to be taken out. I don't think I'll get through most of this in one sitting. Uh, so this might be two or three videos long, I don't know yet. Whatever the case, as I'm recording this, I hope you haven't looked down at the timer and gotten scared off. So, first off, the mechanics behind lag. You're going to come out of this one section super smart, I guarantee you. The most important thing to know about Call of Duty and lag is that gameplay is not synchronized. In every game, um, what you see isn't the same thing as what he sees, and it's not the same thing as what the other guy sees, etc., and so on and so on. And by that, I mean uh, the player positions, uh, the timing of the gunshots, you know, when someone came around a the corner, they're all, they're all different depending on whose TV you're looking through. So uh, let's take a look at why this happens. For simplicity, uh, let's just say that you're in the lobby of four people, because I'm not going to go around drawing a whole ground war game here. That's for sure. All right. In real life, each of these people are, are very far apart, and the data to tell each other um, where their character is and where he's shooting at, all that data takes a long time to get to the rest of the players. So instead of the game making you wait until everyone's got everyone else's data, and then letting you play for a split second before making you wait again, instead of doing all that, uh, the game lets everyone play in real time with other people's old data. Their old positions, their old, uh, you know, directions of gunshot. And their old gunshots, in fact. When you see a player shoot on your screen, he actually shot much earlier. It's just that it took you a while to see it. In essence, every player sees everyone else at a slight delay. You see them at a slight delay, and they see you at a slight delay. This is regular, ordinary, run-of-the-mill, normal lag. This is this just this explains how no matter who kills who, the person to die will always see something different in the kill cam. That's just how it is. But with all these um, alternate realities going on at the same time, which one is the real reality? Whose TV is showing the true game world by which every outcome of a firefight is decided? And the short answer is that there isn't a true version to begin with. You may be thinking, it's easy, right, guy? Whatever the, the whole sees, that's the real version. Uh, no, no, not real. God, I shouldn't make a... I shouldn't do imitation voices, or I shouldn't make voices at all. Uh... No, not really. That's not how it works. Um, you can see the host's account of the events pretty easily just by going to theater mode. Uh, the theater recordings, they, they show the host's version. That's what he saw. Um, but you already know that your kills don't make any sense in theater mode. So the host's version isn't the absolute truth either. Uh, the way the game actually works is a bit more complex. Um, you see the countdown timer down there? That timer is actually pretty accurate. Uh, the game spends a lot of time at the beginning of a match and, and host migrations, uh, making sure that every player has the same the, their timer synchronized to one another in real life. So in other words, you see nearly exactly the same countdown as every other player uh, in global in global terms. Um, 
this this global timer it's not it's not perfect but it is extremely accurate it's more accurate than anything else in the game anyway um, so when two players with very different uh, I'm doing air quotes when I say versions here uh, when two players with very different versions on their screens shoot at each other the game compares the global timestamp for your kill of him and the global timestamp for his kill of you so whoever kills the other person first according to the global time the, the timer on the on the countdown or the timer that's represented with the countdown uh, his version is the true version for that moment so he, could, he whoever wins continues playing in his own reality and the person who dies has his reality erased right it never existed now and is then shown the reality of the person who killed him you know via the kill cam if you've ever heard the saying history is written by the victor that's what this is where have you heard that well maybe here this is for the record history is written by the victor history is filled with liars if he lives and we die his truth becomes written and ours is lost See, I, I think that's pretty fucking neat. Like, he described the mechanics of Call of Duty multiplayer like down to a T. That's exactly how it works. If you think about it, uh, the way it works is the fairest way to make a game. Um, if your enemy has crappy latency, then you both get a larger jump on each other. It's much better than the often imagined um, whoever can get his kill data to the host first uh, nope, no, that's not how it works. It's much better than that. Uh, see, the way it, it does work, uh, you can't really blame your death on an enemy's crappy lag because he got just as much lag to you as you to him. Uh, well, mm, alright, um, I think this has gone long enough. I'm looking at the timer down here. Uh, so thank you for watching this long and, and join me next time when I talk about how the shield is affected by latency and how to play with the shield too. And then after that we'll do some other stuff. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.